Okay, under this tutorial we're going to talk about iCloud and we get a lot of questions. In this tutorial we're going to talk about iCloud and I usually get a lot of questions about how iCloud works, um, how syncing works, um, what it is and how it works and do I have one or do I have to set one up. Certainly this is going to be a quick tutorial on the basics of iCloud. There will be some follow up ones um, on how it works in relation to your computer and your iPad and all those sorts of things. Um, so this is sort of like the introduction, have a look out for some more. First of all, you're going to notice that um, at the top here, iCloud, I have an account. Um, and this is usually my Apple ID account. Now, it's really important, I'm going to point out here that a lot of people say an iTunes account and then an Apple ID account. They're actually the same thing. The correct term you should be talking about is it's your Apple ID. So this is the thing that purchases, this is the thing that syncs, this is the thing that controls that. And whenever you have an Apple ID, you automatically have an iCloud account. So in other words, if you were to go to www.icloud.com and put in your Apple ID, there would be a section already set up for you in that um, cloud service. So it's not like you have to go and do anything additional apart from log into there. Now, everybody that starts with um, an Apple ID automatically has an iCloud account, one, and you already automatically have five gigabytes of space that you can save to. Now, also in this section, we have a look that your iCloud account acts as a um, sort of like a syncing or a central spot um, that allows you to sync stuff like your mail, your contacts, your calendars, and that way if you've got more than one device, your true point of truth is your iCloud account because your iCloud account will detect your contacts on your iPhone and then it will detect your contact, uh, contacts on your um, iPad and then put them both up there and reconcile them against each other to say which one's correct and what's you know absolutely correct. Um, it also syncs stuff like your, um, your Safari and your you know if you turn on your photo stream and all those sorts of things which we'll talk about later um, and it'll have your documents and data and it'll save them all up to the cloud automatically. This is a function that happens automatically once you've logged in once your iCloud account and you've turned it on. So if we have a look under here, the one that people usually ask is, oh, how do I back up so I don't lose my data and if it breaks and all that sort of stuff? Well, iCloud takes care of that. Now, it's not the only place you can back up. You can back up to your computer. That's fine. No trouble. But um, a lot of people will also back up from their, uh, back up to their iCloud account. So if you have a look here, I've got, I've paid for additional storage. So in other words, I've got 25 gigabytes of space in iCloud. So in other words, with my, um, with my um, iCloud account, I actually can back up to that space nearly all the data on my iPad. And more importantly, this is the critical part. And same when you're backing up to your computer, and we'll have a tutorial on this as well, that it takes the information from the apps as well and saves them. So if I have in Evernote or I have on something else a heap of documents in there, like in Pages, say, that I've worked on, it'll save all of those in there as well. If you don't, on your computer, tell it to do an encrypted backup, then you'll have issues where it won't keep this information from the apps. But I'll show you that in a tutorial later on. So in here, you can change your storage plans, you can purchase additional storage and all those sorts of things if you want. Um, you can also downgrade and all those sorts of things. Um, it depends on what you're going to do. Um, inside here as well, um, oh, sorry, I'll just go back into that. You can manage your storage, so in other words, um, what's being saved from where. So in other words, Pages for me is my biggest one. Um, and it'll tell me all of my other iPads as well. So I have two iPads. So it'll tell me how much is being saved from each one. So this is a really important part. So if you've got more than one device, all of these devices with the same Apple ID can save up to the one spot. So it's not like you're talking about uh, managing data from six different devices to six different Apple IDs. It's six different devices with one Apple ID saving to one spot. Um, I should point out you're only allowed to have five um, devices as well, not six. Um, but that's a licensing issue. So storage and backup, iCloud, you know, reminders. Do you want to sync your reminders across all of your devices that have it? Sure. This is going to be the thing as well that actually receives my... Um, uh, going to receive my messages and all that sort of stuff. Well, when we talk about iMessage and it's free using data, it sends it to this uh, um, tyrrell.bradley at me.com account. So it's really important to understand that that's what's going on in iCloud and I'll tell you more about that with some tutorials where I'll show you what's going on the iPad and then show you what's going on on the um, iCloud itself with documents and all that sort of stuff. So iCloud, set it up, free messages, controlled by 
Apple free space um, keeps everything synced and when you run out of data you just need to go and have a look in there and see what apps are being synced and how who's got the most in it so it's like managing anything <laughs>